All right. Now, a circular coil has 15 turns and a diameter of 45 cm. Uh, if the magnetic field strength is directed out of the page at the center of the coil, uh, is this value, find the magnitude and direction of current flowing in the coil. So, the question asks for current. Okay, the question asks for current, um, magnitude and direction. So, that means he wants the current. Okay, this is a circular coil, if you see. Okay, circular coil. Uh, sometimes we call it coil, sometimes we call it loop. Uh, yeah, either one. Yeah, coil or loop is the same. Uh, what's the difference? Uh, we have coil and we have loop. Um, and this one you see it has um, it has a uh, fifteen turns. It has fifteen turns. Uh, this is n. Uh, this is the diameter. Uh, diameter and magnetic field strength. Uh, this is the magnetic field strength. Okay. Um, directed out of the page. Uh, he did say uh, that the direction is out of the page. Okay. Now, um, so this one is a multiple turns uh, circular coil. Uh, what's the difference between circular coil and uh, with multiple turns and the solenoid? Okay, maybe I should briefly uh, explain to you. Circular coil with multiple turns. Uh, this is a circular coil or circular loop. Okay, circular loop with n turns. Uh, with n turns we also have a solenoid solenoid uh this one also uh, this one is a solenoid also it has n turns uh, but uh, what's the difference the difference is solenoid it has length you see it has length but this one has no length yeah uh, for circular coil it's all uh, for circular coil it's all wind up on the so for circular coil, it's all wind up in the same place. Uh, but for solenoid, it's wind up nicely along a length. Yeah, this one uh, for circular loop, it has no uh, length. Okay. Uh, so for circular coil with multiple turns, we use the formula. Uh, we use the formula uh, B equal to uh, mu naught n i over two r. Yeah. 2 radius uh, but for solenoid uh, at the uh, this one all talks about the middle uh, magnetic field at the middle a uh, magnetic field at the middle uh, for solenoid we use mu naught and i uh, where the n uh, can be further derived mu naught and i over l uh, it has length you see uh, solenoid it has length so it divide by length you see um, uh, this one is uh this for this one is uh actually two radius actually this is for diameter you know it's diameter two radius is actually diameter so um uh yeah uh, both is finding the magnetic field at the center uh, at the center okay uh so that's a difference circular loop circular coil with multiple turns uh it will wind up at the same place solenoid is uh it has length it's not wind at, wind up at the same place but it is uh, wind up nicely with, uh, and it shows a length. Okay? So now, uh, and they have different formula. Lah. Yeah, they have different formula. Okay, now let, the, let us uh, do this question. So this is not the solenoid. This is circular coil. Yeah, N turns, I already have written down. Diameter also, I changed to meter. So magnetic field for the center. Yeah? Center of the coil is directed out of the page. Yeah, uh, like this one. Out of the page, magnetic field out of the page, and that's the value is uh, uh this one lah uh yeah uh eight exponent negative for Tesla. Later we will write it down. Find the current. Uh, so formula we use is this formula. Yeah, mu naught n i over two r. Two r is diameter. Uh, so you need to find radius because two times radius you get diameter. So the diameter you just put here. Uh, yeah, just substitute inside. So now, uh, let's calculate. Let's calculate. Find the magnitude first. Yeah, let's find the magnitude first. Uh, just find the magnitude. Okay. So let's find out. Yeah. So mu naught is a uh, four pi. Uh, exponent negative seven. So number of turns is a uh, fifteen turns. Uh, current. That's what we want to find. And the diameter, diameter is uh, 0 0.45 meter, change to meter. And the magnetic field, 
is a uh, eight exponent negative four tesla yeah negative four tesla so um so what's the current let's find out the current so the current i get is um, the current i get is um after i calculate i got 19.1 ampere okay that's the magnitude now the direction so what do you think uh so now uh for this one uh i also use right hand grip rule uh, but the time but but the thing is this time i change last time for the uh, straight wire last time when the straight wire yeah straight conductor straight conductor my thumb is the current my thumb is the current and the finger is the magnetic field yeah see my thumb is the current uh, this time my thumb is the magnetic field and the finger now become the current uh, i change the role yeah i change the role i uh, from the current i uh, i switch with this yeah? uh, yeah? i switch i switch role i switch role switch head what we can say i switch head uh, the current the current now become the magnetic field the magnetic field now become the current i switch head uh, so uh, now last time my thumb is the current now my thumb as the magnetic field uh, the finger as the current also can yeah for circular coil or circular loop or later the solenoid also yeah this one for uh, for both uh, for circular coil for circular coil or loop uh, or solenoid or solenoid uh, we all use this one yeah switch head ready uh, for both of these we use this one the thumb as magnetic field the finger as the current for straight conductor uh, for straight conductor uh, the thumb is the current yeah the thumb is the current for the circular coil and solenoid, the thumb as the magnetic field, okay, and the finger as the current. So now let us uh, try to find out. Yeah, uh, I also show you. Uh, I also drawn over here. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, uh, this is the uh, magnetic field at the center. He says, um, okay, let me switch off this one. Okay, uh, this one. He says the magnetic field is uh, directed. Yeah, magnetic field is directed out of the page, out of the page at the center. So at the center, magnetic field directed out of the page. So here lah, uh, magnetic field directed out of the page. So uh, what's the current? What's the direction of the direction of the current? So what's the direction of the current? Is it clockwise or anticlockwise? So use my my thumb as the magnetic field. Uh, my thumb as the magnetic field going out of the page. Uh, magnetic field going out of the page so my finger as the current you see that so my finger is uh, my thing my thumb as is the magnetic field going out of the page my finger as the current my current is anti-clockwise you see that my current is anti-clockwise uh, so current is anti-clockwise my current is anti-clockwise uh, that's my current anti-clockwise yeah uh, going this way yeah going this way going this way ah uh, okay anti-clockwise okay uh, so let's write it down yeah anti-clockwise the direction is anti-clockwise so uh, my current is uh, i got it anti-clockwise uh, my current that's my current i use my right hand grip rule right hand uh, right hand not the left hand only use the right hand only use the right hand okay so uh, direction is anti clockwise okay that's the answer uh, magnitude and direction anti clockwise okay see you in the next videos